All right, let's talk about another form of renewable or is, are they non-renewable resources? And I want to talk now about metals. Metals are crucial to uh, human society since the Bronze Age, the Iron Age, and if you like, the, the modern age when it's almost a huge number of metals are being uh, exploited for our high technology purposes. Some of the fundamental ones in the past have been copper and tin to make bronze. This was a fantastic discovery. If you're a, a group of people using uh, wooden spears and bows and arrows, the arrival of somebody with a bronze axe or a spear is bad news for you, and it's better, better you just surrender and say, okay, we're done. Uh, we'd like to be part of your tribe, because that improvement in the technology of a metal versus wood or stone uh, ec economy uh, is dramatic. Then, of course, we have iron. So we went from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age. And now we're in some other kind of situation. Australia is a huge exporter of copper and iron. Historically, it's had uh, major exports of tin as well. But copper and iron, we're still doing this. As you know, we export large amounts of these metals to other countries. So they're taking advantage of the availability of the resource in our country to support the infrastructure they have in their countries. So it's a global issue. This is not localized anymore, it's global. And a lot of this, you could say, fundamentally, surely we're going to run out of this. Eventually, we'll have mined the whole of the Pilbara. There'll be a big hole. We've got plenty of big holes around where we've taken copper out of the ground in many parts of Australia and certainly in the world. So is this in any way a renewable resource? Is it generating itself? To some degree, we could say, well, at the rate of current extraction of iron from iron oxides from the Pilbara, it's going to last several hundred years. I'm not going to be around. You're not going to be around. In fact, you could use the argument that's often used by old people. They could say, well, what's posterity ever done for me? I don't care. I would like my shares, stock market, my uh, pensioned lifestyle to sustain itself for a few more years, and then it's not my problem. But that's irresponsible, let's face it. Pretty unpleasant, pretty selfish. So we want, might want to worry about this. Well, what's the time scale here? For the iron ore, it's several hundred years. There's a lot. Nevertheless, the rate at which we're using it, and it's increasing, when I say we, the world is using it, eventually you can't consider digging something out of the ground, which took a long time to generate, to make, to store, to withstand the rate at which we can remove it. So in this sense, this is like a non-renewable energy source. Here we're talking about a material. 